This footage was shot in the Marshall Islands in November 2009 by Sean Anderson and was filmed for the Global Coral Reef Alliance. It shows me on the outer exposed reef of Arno Atoll. This is the ocean side and this is the windward side in shallow water. It's very rarely calm enough to be safe enough to do this, but as you see, the bottom is covered with corals and almost all of them are bleached. They're not completely bleached, com totally white. They still have a little bit of color to them. Uh, some of them have died and they look pink because they've been overgrown by encrusting pink algae. Here are blue corals. But overall, the whole reef is extremely pale. This was a, one of the first bleaching events that ever hit the Marshall Islands. Five years later, there was a major bleaching event in which most of the corals died. I was recently in the Marshall Islands and saw that all over the place. Here is a coral that's bleaching. This is out on the outer reef, windward reef slope of Arno Atoll. And only a few corals were bleached there. The bleaching was much worse, as you can see, right in shallow water. But almost all these corals then died five years later. So every place I was in the Marshall Islands, I found large amounts of dead coral. Here we're building a bio-rock reef in Arno Atoll. This is, these islands are not only vulnerable to coral bleaching, which has killed most of their corals due to global warming, but they've also are one of the most vulnerable countries in the world to sea level rise. So here we're building bio-rock reefs to, to be a, work as offshore wave barriers. We've built a structure here with the local residents of the island, whose island is on the edge of washing away. We're carrying structures that were built by hand. We didn't have any electricity to weld here. All of this was done simply manually. Um, here is the beach, and we are now going to haul it out into the water. Up, up at the end of the pier, you see, at the jetty, you see a windmill, which is going to power this. So these projects were all powered by wind, by solar panels, by wave energy. We use wave energy generators, and some were meant to be powered by tidal currents. So well, here we are installing these structures, and in shallow water, and they're quite a lot of them, and the idea is that these, when they turn into bio-rock and are powered by a trickle charge of electricity, will grow solid limestone on top of them that will then allow corals on them to grow very quickly and create a solid but wave permeable barrier that would slow waves down and allow the sand to grow instead of being washed away. Here's a bio-rock reef in the Marshall Islands that's about a year old. This is a Majuro Atoll, and here this, this reef, we built it simply from pieces of reinforcing bar, and this reef is made in the exact shape of a Marshall Islands stick chart. It's an exact geographic representation of all the atolls in the Marshall Islands and how to sail between them. Another one-year-old bio-rock reef in Majuro, and this is during the bleaching event, the same one that we filmed earlier in Arno Atoll. And as you can see, our corals are bleached, but they didn't die. They all recovered. And that's one thing BioRock does. We get nearly complete survival, even in very severe bleaching events, even of corals that are completely bleach white. They won't die and they'll continue to grow. So this is the example of a one-year-old BioRock reef, and it was powered only for a very short time by a solar panel, which then uh, the cable broke and was not repaired. This reef now, 10 years later though, is still in good condition, and most of the corals I put on it are still alive, even though it hasn't got any electricity. The surrounding reef, meanwhile, has almost all died. It had from the bleaching events five years ago, and now from weedy algae. This area that you see was clean white sand. The dead coral was clean. And now it's all overgrown with weedy algae. This is down current from, from the capital island in Majuro. And uh, unfortunately, the sewage is beginning to wipe out the water quality of this area, but this reef is still intact.